Welcome back. China has declared its military ready to fight after completing three days of exercises around Taiwan after the Taiwanese president's meeting with Speaker McCarthy here in the U.S. Our Eunice Yoon is in Beijing with that story and with the U.S. response. Hi, Eunice. Hey, Kelly. Well, Taiwan has responded tonight to Beijing, saying that it will never relax its efforts to strengthen its combat readiness. Over the past three days, the Chinese military has been simulating blockades as well as precision strikes. The state media has reported that the a Chinese homegrown aircraft carrier known as the Shandong has also taken part in the war games for the first time. Now, despite the tense drills, um, many people here are talking about how the um, action appears to be less aggressive than what Beijing did when a uh, former House Speaker Speaker Nancy Pelosi visited Taiwan last summer. Uh, the belief is that uh, Beijing uh, wants to appear stern and tough on Taiwan, while at the same time playing up its role as an international peacemaker. In fact, there were several foreign dignitaries here um, last week, but the drills took place only after all of them left. Now, uh, the U.S. has said that it's monitoring the situation, um, but perhaps in a sign of how tense the situation really is, uh, the U.S. has dispatched a destroyer uh, to the South China Sea and in waters that the Chinese claim um, are near uh, islands, which the Chinese claim as their own. Um, and the Chinese military has accused now uh, the U.S. of uh, um, what they describe as illegally trespassing Chinese waters. And they say that their troops are on high alert. Kelly? Eunice, we are also struck by these comments from the French President Macron, obviously, who seemed to imply that Europe couldn't win uh, on Ukraine and by extension couldn't win on Taiwan and that perhaps wouldn't have the willpower to do so in joining the U.S. if it came to that point. I'm curious uh, if that's already being played up there. Oh, it's definitely being played up here on the state media, has been uh, talking very much about how uh, the French and uh, the Chinese have so much in common. Uh, there really has been an effort to uh, talk about how important the relationship is uh, with Europe. So uh, the, it, it hasn't been lost on the Chinese um, what Macron has said and his uh, what appears to be an affinity from their perspective to the Chinese. Yeah. Eunice, thanks. We appreciate it today. Our Eunice Yoon reporting.